There's there's not a title to the episode it's yet. It's not a clapper either. It's a slate. It's a slate. We, dis- we discussed it this a, a couple weeks ago. And you made me think of the clapper. Remember the clapper? Clap on. Sorry, that was right. Clap on. Right. Clap off. Clap. Clap on. Do you see what just happened? Do you see what just happened? Try it again. Try it again. Do you? Oh my God, I see your th- <laughs> You're so dumb. That was You're so-, so dumb. You really <laughs> thought that this had clapper to it. How did you know to do that? I just. How did you know to do that? I wanted to do a bit and you walked right into it. Thank you. Okay, literally, I was like, how, how is a neon sign? Oh my God, my mind is blown. Leisha, it's the remote. Does everyone see we have a new, this was our big piece. This is what you ordered. Yes, this is what arrived in the mail. It got here a few weeks early. And here it is. Beautiful blue. Yeah, you sent me a bunch of fonts. You're like, we figured this looked like. I love this font. This reminded me of us. And it was better than what I thought. One thing we agreed on is that we didn't want pink when we were discussing colors. Right. We didn't want pink. Well, I we're love very, hot pink. It's I know, of- but we're very associated with hot pink. Yes. And we thought, let's make Steer a- Steer away from hot pink. And let's do a blue. And since then we painted this room blue. Well, it's also like a lit up version of that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So- that was the color choice. Another addition. I hope, I hope everyone approves. I like it very much. I love it. And then, yeah, there's still more to come. I mean, we have years and years of wall hangings. Years and years, years. and years of wall hangings. <laughs> Can you go back to the clapper really quickly? Sure. Since you freaked me out and I thought it was working. Yeah. Um, would, I, I feel like you would use one. And am I wrong in thinking that? No, I would use one, but it needs to be very precise. What does that mean? Well, let's use this as an example. Okay. I'm going to show you something, a product that I would not buy. Clap. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't okay. like that because would it that fucks be me distance? up. No, it's just I want immediate results. So this is the product that I would buy. Clap. Okay. There we go. For anyone so who's not, it's like for anyone who's not watching. I don't know if this is going to translate. It's not. What you're explaining or showing as an example is you're, the for anyone the action who, is too slow. Yeah. For anyone who's not watching this video, I this neon sign we purchased came with a remote, and I've hit it. At least she didn't realize it. So when she was clapping, I was turning the thing on and off. All oh, right. They're not even going to know what happened. Also, we should say we're on YouTube now. We are on YouTube. So if you're listening and you're like, what the hell are you talking about? We're talking about our YouTube channel. Well, if they want to see what the hell we're talking about. Do we have about. a channel? Is it an actual channel? I don't know how YouTube works. <laughs> or is it just on YouTube? No, Val? it's a channel. It's mm-hmm. a channel. What is it? What's there, can I say it like so people can find it? What's um, the name? of? Is it a channel? Does it have a name? Is it yeah. like public access? It's <laughs> P- probably. Pu- public it's access. Public access. Or, it's Kate. called Pants with... Leisha it's pants and- with Kate Menig and Leisha Haley. Wow. What a well And is that machine. a URL? Like, does someone have to type that in like one type big in word? Type in pants with Kate and Leisha yeah. on Google. I mean, it'll yeah, pop up. Exactly. That's the beauty of on Google. YouTube, but on YouTube, videos. I got a better idea. Here's the situation. Okay, go. You go on our Instagram page. There's a link above. It shows you. It gives you the YouTube link. You click it. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> the YouTube link. And you click it and then you can watch. YouTube. YouTube link. YouTube link. Okay, Look well, at my hand. It got better. I told you I healed. Your knuckles are giant. Well, is that little... real? Is that the? Is that still sick? It's still a little sore, but can we talk about the healing? It's no, bruised. you're cut. What, well, yeah, let everyone hands? know because Why Jesus. Why are my knuckles so huge? Do I look like Sylvester Stallone? The, that one is twice the size of all. Can you hold them up to camera, please? <laughs> it look... Wait a minute. It looks like you're flipping somebody off, but with oh, a knuckle. Oh, Alicia. Like a knuckle bird. It's a little bruised still, but it was not broken. If it was broken, we'd I'd be in a world of pain still. It was 
badly bruised. You never went to the doctor. I sure didn't. And the reason I didn't go to the doctor, and I'll tell you why, is I went to the doctor. I went to the urgent care because I'm not doing this ER shit. I went to urgent care and I was walking and it was at the end of the day and it was uh, midweek. So I figured, yeah, maybe there's not a lot of accidents happening. So I sign in <laughs> and I silly. realized that a bunch of people <laughs> had appointments. And so they were filtering through all the appointments and they had, and I had to wait obviously because people, you know, planned ahead of time. Isn't and, that the point of a walk-in is that it's a walk-in clinic? That's what I thought, but... So it's an appointment clinic, which is like a regular old clinic. I don't know. Mm. I, I, I truly don't understand the rules, but it was the end of the day and I was hungry. It was dinner time and I was hungry and the animals needed to eat and it's not that I was bleeding out. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to make an appointment for tomorrow. And even the nurse behind the desk said, it's probably best if you make an appointment. And I thought, well, what's the point? I was the walk-in it's like, okay, fine. So I made an appointment for the following evening and the day got completely ahead of me. And by then, um, another day had passed and it was feeling a little better. And I, and I took the bandage off and my cut, cause I told you I heal fast, sealed itself. And I thought, you know what? I don't think I need it. So now I'm okay. It's still a little swollen. It's a light purple. It's not the end of the world. I'll be fine. Well, I listened to myself, I listened back to our first episode, and I really was like, I wouldn't let it go. And I'm sorry, I was very pushy about the hospital. Well, I think everyone listening or watching probably agreed with you. Well, I don't need that. I'm just saying, I, I, you know, I should have just said, well, I should have just was... heard you and been like, okay, great, you don't want to go. It's okay. That's okay. what makes you, you. Oh, Great. <laughs> I have to fix your mic. It's driving me. Why? Leave him alone. No, What's wrong with Five this. Alive? No, you have to do this. It's what? Thank you. Thank you. You don't have to move a thing. Don't but touch I like it. To, I'd like to touch I it. I didn't touch your arm. You can touch it. Just don't touch this? Yeah, don't touch that. And it's pointing, it was pointing up at your, above your glasses. Oh, thank you. Okay, so. <clears throat> oh, you brought I have a computer. couple of follow-up things from last week. I like this. You had mentioned that you read a, an article in the New York Times. I couldn't find it um, about talking out loud. It was last week the, we talked about it. Yeah. And the signs, like what it means. Okay. Guess what I found, Kate? Am I wrong? No. It, does, it prove, does it actually prove the opposite that it gives you early onset dementia? And well, it, some of those popped up, but this is really what the main thing was. Okay. Uh-oh. Many people talk to themselves when they are alone. But studies show that intelligent people do it even more. Hey! Hey! Clap on. Clap off. We're smart. That's what I'm saying. I need another <laughs> clap. everybody know. Huh? I need another clap. Listen, I was excited to find out that I wasn't crazy and that I was just smart. I was right. Then what I yeah, read was correct. and you were right is also the news. I'm an only child. So, you know, I only had myself to hang out with my, a lot of the time. So I'm sure I do it even more than I realize. So I must be a real Mensa. So I'll take it. <laughs> I also have my <laughs> um, underpants for the week. Let's. Oh, you brought Saw some underpants. the other day. Well, it's not a... I'm going to have to hold this up to the camera. Because I asked you and you said you didn't have any just a second ago. <laughs> but this is a real doozy. Oh, no. Okay, we took this. Is it a I terrible don't have the photo? Year. Is it a really bad you photo? You look awesome. Mm, Me, on the other that. hand. Well, you and I were in Austin, and my friend Liz Lambert had just opened Joe's Coffee Shop. Mm -hmm. And she was like, put these on. And so we put on these tank tops, and then she hung it in the coffee shop it must have been up there for 10 years. Okay. We were sort of like on the back wall, like a little, because it was like day one or day two. I have no memory of this. Well, you're about to see it. And can you give a also, year? Also, why were we in Austin? I didn't know I was in Austin with you. Here we are. Oh my God. That hair is That's how giving me like 2008, hair. 2007 vibe. Like the. Well, we could probably look up when Joe's coffee shop opened. And that would answer. I had no idea we were in Austin together. And why together. were we in Austin together? I don't even remember being there with you. I thought, 
I had only been to Austin twice and neither time was with you. I guess I was there three times. Do you times. think she sent them or she was in town and put us, because it had just opened? I don't. Can I see that picture again? Let me see the backdrop. I'll be able to tell with the backdrop. This backdrop. Why does it look like we're standing behind a Roman clay wall? No recollection, right? By the way, Liz is like, why have I never been on pants? And I was like, well, you got to come on pants. Does Liz want to come on pants? She does. So oh, we got to get her on. Great. More pants in just a moment. Leisha. Hey, Kate. You, hi. Do you know how much money you're paying in subscriptions every month? Honestly, I thought I had a handle on it, but I was way off. Over 74% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about. I definitely did. But thanks to Rocket Money, I'm no longer wasting money on the ones I forgot about. Well, Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, I have full control over my subscriptions and a clear view of my expenses. Well, you know what I love? I can see what? all my subscriptions in one place, and if I see something that I don't want, Rocket Money can help me cancel it with just a few taps. And Rocket Money has over 5 million users and have saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash pants. That's rocketmoney.com slash pants. Again, rocketmoney.com slash pants. Great. We need to figure out how to do guests because a lot of people are clamoring to get on clamoring this Clamoring to get on this couch. Um, we just needed to... Well, get now the that we camera have our, situated, our get technicalities that, are precisely. worked out. I wouldn't want a guest to sit through what we went through of like, let's make sure the camera's working. No, the but now that we, I think now, it's time um, to open the doors. Yeah. We have an extra mic. Yeah. Okay. I think we can only have one guest at a time, but that's, that's okay. That's fine. Too One's much, enough. Too much is too much stimulation. It's fine. Too, like, for you. It, it's too much. It's too much over talking. It's fine. One guest is fine. Okay. It's fine. Anyway, Ash, what's going on? Isn't that annoying? Like a, a lot of over talking when like a bunch of people are talking at once and you're, for you or for the it, listener? It audibly, like, I think probably for the listener because you're thinking who's saying what and can someone just get their one point across and can get a little distracting. Is that just me? I know I have. Well, since you're a Mensa, I feel like everything comes back to intelligence. <sighs> I mean, let's just call us, let's just call it what it is. This is a Mensa. You have to have a resting point of brain. You need a resting brain and not clear too much thought stimulation because mm -hmm, it's not healthy for the mind, right? Or the ears. It's like sensory overload. Yes. Do you have that? I know I. Have I don't. That. I do. It's why probably another reason you don't like concerts. Um, it's why I don't like large group dinners because it's too much. You do hate those. It's just like, first of all, they take, it's like, it, it's like a transatlantic flight. It's like a nine hour event because there's so many people that have to order and eat and drink and talk. I, can and I then say, okay. you can't like, and then it's just really hard to, it's just, I don't know. Well, I always just, the space alone, you invite, say you have a table of 10. I didn't talk to you at all at the end because I can't hear you or see you not at someone's at house it's different i'm talking at a restaurant yes at someone's I, house I, I i'm totally fine because it's usually people i know i'm saying like oh i booked us a room and there's like 10 people at a table you're like oh a room is different because then you can hear but at a restaurant a i'm restaurant, talking about it in a public place the last time you had a large birthday dinner for for yourself was when you must have been I don't know what 36, it was. 36, 37. Easily. I remember that's when who my... was there. I remember the table was tall. But uh, but I remember it was long and and you, I think maybe you were My still mom smoking. was in town. Your I'm... mom was there. You remember this? I do. I it was, was in my 30s. Ago, and I remember you complaining when you, I think you were smoking and I was standing by you away from the table and you're like, I'm never going to fucking have a long big dinner again. And I remember you making the choice at that dinner that to was never it. do it again. Yeah. And I don't know how old you were. In my 30s. Again, let me preface by saying, if it's in someone's house, it's a different story. But at a restaurant, if there's just an element of like, oh God, get me off the plane. It's too mm. much. 
someone's house, it's easier because then you can go into the living room, have a seat. You can sort of see a change of scenery, catch up with different people, have a different... Yeah, you actually get to see the people because you've moved around. Precisely, but at a restaurant, you're just given... That's it. You have your box. And you got your chair. It's usually a a rectangle. And that's the other maddening thing because then it's just a cacophony of noise. And I'm like, who's talking? And what? It's just a lot. It's a lot. It could be me. No, I think it's pretty common. Do you feel that way? I feel like I you're don't fine enjoy with it. them because I only get to really spend time with the person here, here, and across. And from what me. if you're not like really close or not well, terribly fond of the person here, or here, or there? You're thinking, great. You're, I have to wait screwed. until dessert when people get up to you know meander away and steal some. I think else's a nice, seat. comfortable six top is like Done. cap it at that. Cap it at a six for a restaurant. I agree. And even that's a lot, but I agree. Six and a is... round table's always better because everybody, it's sort of like equal. Who gets to see who? When we were <clears throat> uh, getting some uh, furniture for, the, for our new house, I was adamant on having a round dining table because I like being able to look at everyone. When you're on that elongated thing, you're like, huh? And you have to like lean forward. To like catch someone on the other end, even at table. your own house. Well, just on any, yeah. If you have a l- bunch of people at a rectangle, hmm. you're all what, and you're like, oh right, yeah, yeah. It's I like having the perspective. Yeah, it's like why discussions. You're like a king. I like round table discussions. Or a president. Why? Or a, I don't know, round table, round in table the Rose, discussion. You're in like the Rose, Charlie Rose. In the Roosevelt room. No, he. Or that's you're just like a, the Hollywood reporter I don't doing wanna, a round table of all Charlie actress Rose, on actress. I, I don't like the word actress. Huh? I don't like the word actress. Actor, actor on actor. That's, but that's a one on one. Did you have any thoughts about the Kim Kardashian, Chloe Sevigny actor on actor um, thing? Did you have yeah, a feeling? I have, I have some feelings on it. You do? What yeah, do you think? It made me laugh. At first, I thought. This is actually a really clever pairing because you have Kim Kardashian and then you have who's Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Yeah, I mean, and then you know, have this iconic actor, Chloe Sevigny, who has this body of work mm-hmm. and this talent and like a history of cinema and you're pairing them up. And, and I thought that's clever because they're so different. That might actually be great. And then it came to the question of what are some of your favorite films? And Kim <laughs> says something like, well, yeah, I, I just, I like like the feel good classics, like The Notebook or she said some other film that's, you know, mainstream and a little basic. And then she goes and then she tosses it back to Chloe and Chloe with this knowledge of film, like talks about all of these films that influenced her. She's like her. the Criterion channel. Totally. She's like- and she's like, you know, and then in high school I got into Cassavetes and you could see Kim going, uh-huh. Like. Kim's I- assistant was on the side, like look up Cassavetes. Yeah. Like it's just, it, so it made me laugh, but I, I, I just, but I thought I saw it was. comments and people were like, oh, Chris paid for her to be on the cover. It was like a whole, I think uh, my Did she? I don't know. Speaking of I knuckles. What's wrong? My knuckle's bleeding. Oh, I cut keep, it. I th- there's an urgent care down the road. Do you want to get over there? Let me make an appointment. No, I think you can I was, just walk well, in. Because I had to cut out this pants thing oh, no. earlier. Should I get the hydrogen peroxide or is no, that No, I think to I'm going to be okay. You sure? I just felt it I can, when it bent. I mean, you might want to get a doctor to look at it. Okay, just because. Are you sure? By the way, I'm... You want to know my thought today on your knuckle? What? I sure hope it comes back down to size. It will come back down to size. I have a whole new worry. It's not going to stay like this. And I'm this. thinking, you f- oh, this is because she didn't go to the doctor. This is what I was talking about. <sighs> it's fine. Can you tell me, finish your Kardashian, Chloe Sevigny. That was it. Can we talk? Well, well what's, what, what's what? What I, was I saying? I don't know. You never finished your point. I forgot what I was saying. So you just asked my opinion on it and you don't finish your I thought? I didn't read it. Oh, the comments. I read the comments. There you go. So what's your, what's, what's, what's People the... thought Kris Jenner paid to get Kim on the cover to have this whole new I'm an actor thing. I have no idea. We'll never know. I kind of don't care. I don't care. I just wondered if you did. I was like, I just caught people like a, care. People I don't really care. Cared. I don't care. I just caught that thing. You know what I do like? I just caught the, I just caught some bits online. That's what I mean. I didn't really dive into it, but my takeaway is that um, I love, love, love so much how um, Chloe always posts about admiring actresses. Yeah. 
She has a whole I love actresses Why thing. Why do you say actresses? It's not a gender. She gen- says it's not this a is gender. what she calls it. It's not like you're, when you're a doctor, you're not a doctress. You're a doctor. When you're a dentist, you're not a dentress. I didn't name you're it. You're a dentist. I didn't name it. This is what she does. I love actresses. And what does she do? If you want to call Chloe. She then posts about somebody, and it's always like a little thing on this person and how she... She loves all women acting. Yeah. And so what I like is that she was like, yeah, Kim Max, let's go. Let's talk about That's it. That's what I'm saying. It's, She's a cool... Chloe's a cool person. She's a really cool person. And I like how That's they were so takeaway. different. And they paired them together. That's what I was like, mm, smart. Yeah. Are you watching the Kardashians? We need to get back into that. I watched the first episode. Me too. You know what I like to do with the Kardashians? I like to stack them up <sighs> so I could devour it all in like one or two sittings. You know? I know, but then- I don't like to wait a week. I know. But- It's not. It's like a bag of popcorn. It I just want to eat the bag of popcorn. I, know. I don't want to eat a, like a couple kernels. I want to devour it. But then you have to wait. Because I lo- I actually had looked and I was like, okay, I have four. I'll what tell am you, I going to do with that four? Am I going to like you're gonna spread wait. it out? If you're smart, you're going to wait and Ugh. wait until it gets to six or eight. And then you can just bang them out on a day where you have nothing else to do. And you can chill on the couch and eat your snacks. There's nothing left. And sit back and just, I, mm, it's delicious. Yeah, there's it's nothing delicious. better. I actually sat back and I thought, do I want to watch, you know, because it was it had been out for a week and usually mm-hmm. you'd think I'd be right, you and I would both mm-hmm. be, but you didn't do it right away either. No, I, I wait. I okay. control myself. Okay, so I wasn't, I forgot the feeling. You know, something really great that happens and then too much time has passed and you for, kind of forgot, you know you loved it. Yeah. But you really forgot how much you loved it. Mm-hmm. That happened to me. Okay. That's fair. Like I was like, oh yeah, it's on, and I can't. I'm kind of excited, and but not. I wasn't like, <gasps> yeah. and then, boom, I, I was understand. like a full crackhead. Um. Well, to crackhead with a K. <laughs> uh, so you can control your your Kardashian uh, binge. You know. Yeah, I have control. You know, it comes out very soon. The documentary on Hulu about the Brat Pack. It's today, Kate. <gasps> it's today it comes out. I have been so excited. I can't wait. I don't know what's been this exciting that's come out on I'm television. I'm so excited. The Brat Pack. I can't. We're going to hear the ins and outs. I hope so. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to hear what they thought about the whole thing. Mm-hmm. I want to hear the Molly Ringwald part because mm-hmm. she was sort of not part of the Brat Pack yep. because she wasn't in St. Elmo's, but she was part of the Brat Pack, but she was sort of on an island all to herself. Like, Yep. That's going to be maybe one of the great. Are you going to watch it tonight? I'd like to. Well, here's my conundrum. Okay. Let me share it with everyone. Lay it out. Do um, you need help deciding something? I just, maybe some guidance. Okay, great. Some I'm opinion. here. I know you, you have plenty of opinions yeah, I'm yourself. Here. So um, so here's my issue. I haven't, I'm, I'm, I, I have three more episodes of Hacks left, season three. I love this show. Yeah. So much. And I'm, and I'm wondering, do I just destroy it and get it over with? Or do I pace them out? That's my number one question. My second question, and that includes, and then there's Bratz. I'm just talking about my TV. There's a lot of television. And then there's Bratz or Brat, whatever it's called, that documentary on Hulu. Like that's a must-see TV. I really want to see that. And then in case anyone doesn't know, there on Netflix, there's a new 30 for 30 about Oscar, uh, the the uh, Paralympic runner who killed his girlfriend oh in South my Africa. Oh God, he's out. I know he's out, but I started watching that and it's so fascinating. And so the question is, and Kardashians is on the back burner because I want to just collect more and mm-hmm. then, you know, go binge. So the question is, what do I do? Okay. Full stop. You have to finish hacks. You do once you do the last three. Okay. You have to. Because they're telling a story, you want to stay on the edge of your seat. Okay. You complete this story, you walk away. Right. And you have to wait like the rest of us. I know, but I just didn't, I didn't want to be the like end the- Because there's a little, the thing happens. I didn't, see, I didn't want to be like the rest of you. I wanted to have- a, I'm sorry, you're not special. Yes, I in am. In the TV. No, we all have to, we all, not with TV. So I We're should all just in plow it together. It and yes. Just, 
By the way, if you don't, you're risking a spoiler. A spoiler. Which my I manager. Did to, I did it to Kim the other day, and she's like, "Well, I didn't know my, that happened." My manager reps uh, a couple people on hacks, mm-hmm. and she spoiled. And I was like, "Get that, 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 that." So I you're, was, like, you're just said, out there risking. I your knew. Whole- I knew who was playing a character that was coming in, and I was like, "Da da da You say that, and now I know that's a big story point. And she said, "Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't say it." It was such a fun moment for us people that watched that show when that well, person showed up. On and on, on and Because you've never seen that show. And by the way, I what, can't even. What, what? what are you talking about? What are about? you talking about? You, I've never seen the show. No, the show I'm talking about with the char- a character that comes on. Huh? Who are you talking about? I don't know who you're, what you just said, but it's not. Are you talking I know about. Your lip movements, it was wrong. No. Is there is another character that comes yes. on? Yes. Okay. And maybe because you didn't watch the show I'm talking about, you might not even know who this person is, which is crazy. I to know me. who a lot of people are. Okay. Well, you don't didn't, underestimate. I know that my... you didn't watch this show because it's another. It's up there with The Sopranos. It's up there with Breaking Oh, Bad. I've seen her. I've seen her. She's okay. amazing. But I know if exactly you who she that is. Show the gay Republican. Yes. She's amazing. If you watch the show I'm talking about, you and I can't spoil it and just in case there's a person who hasn't finished the season. Well, you don't be, don't, don't, but don't, 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 I don't. do need you to watch that show one day. I will. It's Mad Men. Yeah. It's Mad Men. Christina Hendricks is on it's, Hacks. She's okay, well, you just, insane. Why do you get to ruin it for everyone because else? Because we're not responsible for everyone listening if they haven't watched Hacks. It's you and me talking. It's okay, you and me talking. all right, all right. I can't, I can't, I can't worry about Ooh. everything else. It's just you and me, Leash. It's hard to get through sometimes. You I don't me. know who we're... Okay. This, you and me. This one. You and me, kid. That one. You and okay, me, kid. So yes, finish hacks. Keep banking Kardashians mm-hmm. and Watch. do your eight to nine in a row, whatever you're okay. going to do. They're already up to four or five. Okay. And tonight, do on Brat. the night it premieres, you watch Brat. Okay. You and I went shopping yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, and... I was upset because I've been oh. on a quest for a, a, an item, this one specific thing. It's very specific. And I found it at the store. And I, I haven't in my brain the amount of money I think it should be worth. And I look at the price tag and I think, fuck Tell you everyone guys. how much it was. $350. $350. But not, so you think you're imagining right now like, oh, it must be luxurious silk. It's or not. Sat- it's vintage. Cotton. I wanted a vintage a t- short sleeve chambray shirt. Vintage. Button up. Button up. Like, I've been so, on a like quest a, for one and for a like while. Like if I was going to go to Pep Boys right now or AutoZone. Well, that's the not The worker chambray. would have an- That's not chambray. Well, okay, but if it was maybe in Austin, speaking of Austin, it would be like a hipster yes. garage. Poss- the guy would have this on. Or it's it's like it's like vintage navy wear. You know, I'm pissed when we done, did that stupid musical. I wore one. I should have just taken oh it. Oh my god, you didn't take that? No, I was Why'd such you an leave idiot. Because then back then I didn't have the obsession like I do now. Mm. I get ho- hooked. I get kind of thinking, oh, I want one of these things. Hooked on chambray. And I'm a little hooked on chambray. I wasn't hooked on chambray a couple of years ago. Okay, like I god, am now. Was it years ago? So okay. Thankfully, yes, it was. Well, for good and bad, yes. And. uh I think, fuck, it was right there for the taking, and I should have taken it. No okay, but known. anyway, we're at this store. You put it on. I'm like, that's so cute. You're like, you and should then, get it. And you I'm should like, get it. Lisa, we both look at the price, price tag. And I'm like, I can't. And I go, listen to me. There's a store down the street, and it's this guy, and he's got this front. He has like French uh, streetwear, yeah. uh, meaning like. Yeah, like chore jackets. Like chore uh, jackets. Chore jackets and stuff. Like from like, like the French, 40s. French work, I don't know. work clothing. Like yeah. they would sweep the streets. Mm-hmm. It's like indigo blue. Mm-hmm. Like, right. He'll have it. Not that he's like, he's not cheap either. He's not cheap either. But I was like, he's gonna have a stack of these things. They're mm-hmm. not gonna be three fifty. He didn't have it. And we went. And then we got in the car. We went there, and you're like, what store? And then we pulled up. And you're like, oh, I know this store. We go in, nothing. But you made out like a bandit. You found jackets. You found pants. You found a button down. Well, I have my new best friend, Chad. What was his name? Cody. Cody. <laughs> Who was like six five? Cody with the C, um, very cute. So cute. Helped very us. Cute. In, well, I went shopping for Kim. I have to admit it for her birthday. And you and did- I was like, well, I should try this on. And then I was like, I got her. First of all, I have you it. Got her a great present. Yes. And if she doesn't want it, I'll take it. Um, well, and then you were like, ooh, those pants. 
And I turn them on. Ooh, that jumpsuit. And you said, well, those fucking made for you. They look, they're you. Like you have written on. They're like little Western. They're tur- They're colored turquoise. They're fabulous they're, pants. They're like, like, um, they're like, like Dolly, who would wear them? Dolly Parton would wear sort them. Sort of. Yeah. More like, um, Dolly. They're a Dolly pant. Like okay. An, like a vintage seventies Dolly pant. Oh, you see seventies. I saw like thirties. Anyway. They're very they're Western. So freaking cute. I was like, I can't walk away without these. Ooh, the jumpsuit. And, and then, suddenly you like make a left I'm turn and you find mind. a jumpsuit that you can't live without. And what do I need the least in life? But there are Another days, jumpsuit. You know what though? Yesterday was your day. You sometimes have days where you just find all the fucking gems. But and you're not days seeing you'd... what was on it that made it so special. Because I'm like, I don't need another jumpsuit. And I'm like, shink, shink. And I look, and what's on the back? An box embroidered car. Soap box. box car. Soap box and I was car. like, like I'm gonna walk away without this. Exactly. No fucking Yesterday way. was your day. You 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 scored in every area. And then we go to the second Wait, store. But then Cody, my my new best friend, was like, listen, I go, Cody, I, I can't bo- get both of these. And he's like, well. There's actually a sale coming up next week, and I said, "Well, I, I mm-hmm. if I if I walk away, they're gonna sell. I mm-hmm. can't risk it, Cody." Is it Cody? Cody. I thought it was Court. No, it was Thank Cody. Thank God, because you're gonna insult and the man said, when you go back there. He goes, there. "I'm gonna put this in the back on hold for you for a whole week, and it's gonna be thirty percent off everything. So you're the price of one. Will, I'm gonna get you two for one. I've like." No, he hooked you up. He hooked me up. What I'm bummed about was that- I have to tell you that- one more thing. Okay. Katie, Val's wife, call, I, oh, uh, we talked after you and I, we'd seen Katie, we walked away, and then she was like, what'd you guys, I said, we went shopping. Yeah. And I told her where we went, and she said, oh, I was just there last week. There's something there. I was, I almost sent you a picture that I was like, oh, Leisha needs this. The box car. And I go, don't say another word. And I was like- is there a, she goes, a boxcar on the back? Leisha. Anyway, she knew I needed it. Yeah. The problem, what I'm upset about okay. was that the shirt, shirt. That, the shirt that I really wanted, that I've been looking for for a while now, it fits so well. It had everything I wanted. That was the one item that was not going to be on sale. I was just going to ask you that. But it's even not. if it was, it would still be too much. I just think you're so good on eBay. You're like great at searching. You know your sizes. You go get things tailored. You're going to find that thing for like $15. Yeah, I'm not down for spending. I wasn't raised. By the way, my sister's hearing this right now. And she's like, I'm going to find her that at a garage sale for a quarter. Kadra, I'll send you my measurements. She'll just size you up. She'll size me up? Yeah. Um, She finds me stuff. All She mails me things. Kadra, I'm looking for for a vintage short sleeve chambray shirt, something that like an old French sailor wore. It's very, very, very thin, pale blue. It can, sometimes there's writing on the breast pocket. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. She's, I'm telling you, you've just excited her in her car, in her driver's seat. Kadra once again. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, I'm really into this shirt and I want to find it and I hope to very soon. I just refused to spend three hundred and fifty dollars. Everyone listening to this right now is it's like, the way do I not was raised. I, I was raised to not Kate, spend. If you're going to spend that much money on something, you know what I'd rather spend three hundred and fifty dollars on? Uh, masonry paint, so I can paint the brick. That's what I'd rather spend three hundred fifty dollars. And on. you will, and I'm going to probably because I have to go do it starting tomorrow. But I'd rather buy like lumber for three hundred fifty dollars. I'd rather spend it on a plane ticket. I'd rather buy building materials. I'd rather buy good wood and build a build something. Well, thanks everybody. I, you know, I'm back to needing a wrap up. Oh boy, just say you pa- say that, but just say pants. You just say pants. Just out of nowhere. Okay. Pants. Pants. 